Okay, we're going to create the model for, for uh, part 206-6-36. Um, this this part right here, what we're going to worry about most of all, uh, let's see, it says draw front and top views. Now this is if we were drawing it in the book. Um, so we're going to complete the right side view. Well, we'll be able to do that just by creating the model. So what we're going to worry about is this part right here um, that we highlighted. So the overall size is 2.12 square by 3.75 so this is going to be square on the end 3.75 long there are slots that are 0.38 deep and that they are 0.5 wide this way um, we're not going to even worry about that part there about the distance between the views it's really just this part that we're worried about okay so um, we'll go to AutoCAD we're going to start a new drawing ACAD there click open so we're starting a brand new drawing um, we'll go ahead and change this here type in UCS icon and hit enter on that so we're gonna turn it so there's no origin it puts it down in the bottom right hand corner now what I'm gonna do first is type in UCS um, hit enter I'm gonna change the orientation there so I'll hit X enter and 90 enter and I'll change the orientation so it's forward then um, we'll go up here and I'm gonna click a polyline uh, start somewhere near here and I'm just gonna make a square so hit F8 turn the ortho on and go up 2.12 up I'll go to the right 2.12 <coughs> come down 2.12 oops not 21.2 2.12 and then C to close then I'm gonna go back here let's see if we look at this real quick we're the, gonna extrude that 6 point I mean 3.75 so we click on AutoCAD we're in the extrude thing here so we'll click this feature to extrude it click enter and I'm gonna extrude it back this way 3.75 3.7 3.75 oh, and hit enter so that's that part there now in this part here with the slots we're gonna look at this as if that were a solid that we're gonna subtract from that and it's 3.8 deep or 0.38 deep and 0.5 wide so that's really gonna kinda of be upward in the in the upward direction so we will click on polyline gonna go up 0.5 Go to the right, 0.38, come down 0.5, and go, or C to close. Um, we'll go ahead and extrude that. We've got to extrude it longer than that part is right there. So or we can either make it 3.75 or longer. And it's, since it's arbitrary, I'm just going to kind of pick a point out there. Because I'm going to be erasing this anyway. I'm going to cut that out. Um, I'll go ahead and click um, copy, because there's two of them, one on each side. And pick a base point and just kind of copy it out there. Now, what we're going to do next is click move, and I'm going to move this one from the midpoint of that line right there. And so I can't get to the midpoint, so I'll hold down my shift key, right click with the mouse, go to the midpoint, select the midpoint there, and go shift and right click. Then I'm moving it to this midpoint over here. All right, so then we'll move this other one, move, shift, uh, uh, move, and enter. We'll enter first, then to pick our base point, shift, right click midpoint and then select this midpoint and then start moving it and I'm pan over holding down the mouse wheel and shift right click my specify my second point is going to be the midpoint of this line right here All right <clears throat> so now it sticks out there a little long we're going to go ahead and click subtract and what you want to do is subtract or it says there that you select the object you want to subtract from first so it's keep select the object you want to keep press enter and then select the object you want to subtract so when I do this I'm gonna click that the objects I want to keep is this one enter and then select these other two there enter and that gets rid of those double click the mouse wheel to zoom the extents we'll go ahead and click save and we're gonna save that as <coughs> excuse me 206-6-38 and uh, this is called the slide. Oops. All right, so we'll save that that way. Then what we'll do is we'll go up to the print printer there. We're going to make the PDF file of it. Go ahead and change that DWG to PDF. Leave it as A size. The display we're going to change to the extents. Center the plot. Go ahead and click preview. It's exactly what we should see. So then we'll right click and plot that and save that that way you can leave it same same model there and this is exactly what you would be turning in so know where you saved it and go from there all right we'll move on to the next one